so here we have two alternatives that is i'll make the product or i'll buy the product whenever you calculate how much the cost is incurred to manufacture a product please don't add fixed cost if total cost is lesser than the selling price then i'll make the product if total cost is more than the selling price i will buy the product so whenever you go with the theoretical aspect you should actually write abc company limited that's the reason they will give you the question hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all i'm abhilash chandra from the department of commerce and management in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence welcome to all the students for the 10th session of advanced cost and management accounting 2 now here in this session i'm going to discuss a very interesting topic that is all about make or buy decision now what exactly make or buy decision is suppose if you are a manufacturer and you are supposed to manufacture something and that is what we call it as you will go with producing a product that is making a product but making the product you feel that you don't want to spend more money and you want to buy from the market so you will actually go with one more decision that is about i'll buy the product from the market so this decision is all about make or buy decision so what exactly decision is when we go with a kind of decision to go with that is i'll go for a next move what exactly my next move would be you need to decide when you decide you have what options if you have only one thing to be done that is not something called as decision when you go for decision you should have alternatives so here we have two alternatives that is i'll make the product or i'll buy the product when i make the product that means i'll manufacture the product by myself when i buy that means i'll procure by somebody else who have already made the product in the market so here the theory part i'll tell you i'll go with few of the examples where you people can understand what do you mean by make or and what do you mean by buy so here supposing when you start going with make the product the formula for making the product is what very simple it is like you will only go with adding all the cost that is you will add all the cost and that is what is called total cost you will only find out what is my total cost if i manufacture a product but whereas when you go with buy decision that is you will go with a buy concept buying concept now the formula the equation for this is what you will not buy for the total cost you will buy for selling price what is it selling price so whenever somebody is giving you a product that is you are procuring the product he will go with the selling price and when you make a product you will not go with selling price you will go with total cost say example i'll tell you total cost plus profit is equal to selling price we know this formula total cost plus profit is equal to selling price we know this right whenever i make a product now that means i have not sold the product so i'll only calculate what my total cost if the total cost is good favorable so i'll make the product when i go with procuring the product i'll think about selling price that is what is the selling price of the product then what happens is if total cost is lesser than the selling price then i'll make the product if total cost is more than the selling price i will buy the product so very simple here i'll go with a very interesting example for you people here example here whether it is make or buy decision okay now to manufacture a product to manufacture a product it is say 30 rupees if i manufacture a product it cost me how much 30 rupees and if i buy the product in the market the same kind of product is there in the market somebody has actually manufactured it say it is 40 rupees now what will be my decision definitely my decision is what now when i make the product this is called total cost when i buy the product this is called what selling price now when my total cost total cost is lesser what is it it is lesser 
lesser than what my selling price than the selling price which I am buying from the market now total cost is lesser than the selling price now I'll make the product one more is total cost is more than selling price now definitely I'll go with buying now here example let's go with this kind of an example here in this I'll make the product next here a to manufacture product a it is 45 rupees if i manufacture right the same a is available in the market for 40 rupees 40 rupees now what is that you will make the product or buy the product definitely you will buy the product because see here this is not the selling price this is my total cost but this is my selling price so when total cost is more than selling price we'll go with the buying decision so this is what the make or buy decision but here what is that you should do understand two things the first one is when i manufacture a product i only calculate total cost i'll not add profit nor i'll deduct the losses i'll only go with manufacturing how much is the cost to manufacture a product but when i buy the product I don't think about total cost, I think only about selling price because when you buy, you will get it for selling price, not for total cost. So this is what it is. Next, let's go with the problem. This problem is 2016 question paper. We have got this problem. You may think that, sir, we have not even solved a small problem, but you have taken a university problem. I'll tell you here, we can solve it. Just apply your common sense and we can go with that okay now coming to the first one here the problem the number 10 abc company limited whichever company they'll give no issues we'll write abc company limited so whenever you go with the theoretical aspect you should actually write abc company limited that's the reason they will give you the question which produces washing machines so this is a company which manufactures washing machines the below given information relates to component X. That means there is one component in washing machine which is termed as X. There is one particular component done. So we got to know ABC is a manufacturing company and they manufacture a component of a washing machine that is component X. Now cost per unit. So everything here is what? Per unit. Material is 50 rupees, labor, direct expenses, fixed expenses, everything they have given us. The same is available in the market. That means this compound X is available in the market at 120 rupees. Now the same thing which is available in the market. Now this 120 rupees is what? Selling price of component X in the market by somebody else giving an assurance of regular delivery even in situation of the lockdowns so even in the lockdowns they are giving you the assurance that they'll give you that means you understand if you manufacture if you manufacture so everything you are supposed to add isn't it so it is what 50 plus then you have 25 plus then 15 plus Again, your fixed expenses is that 10. So if you go with 50, 75, then 90 and 100 it is. Total is how much? 100. So what you feel is total cost when you go with manufacturing a product it is how much? 100 rupees. But let me tell you here. Please understand. This is what you are supposed to understand. Whenever you calculate your total cost or whenever you calculate how much the cost is incurred to manufacture a product, Please don't add fixed cost. You should not add what? You should never add fixed cost because see, for zero unit also, you are supposed to pay fixed cost. Even for one crore unit, the same fixed cost you are supposed to pay. That's the reason we do not add fixed cost whenever we go with make or buy decision. I'll repeat once again, this is what you are supposed to understand. We should never add fixed costs or fixed expenses or anything which is related to fixed. So when you deduct that, how much you got it, that means variable cost only that you should add. Variable cost and semi-variable cost. That will give you the total cost in make and buy decisions only. 
understand even there is one more that is accept or reject even there also i'll tell you where we are supposed to add where we are not supposed to add it so here what happens is now i'll go with working note how to go with this so here solution now we will write down here given see it's a 10 marks question it's how many marks 10 marks question so when you write that given understand we have what material now we'll write here material is 50 rupees material is 50 rupees next we have is labor labor is 25 rupees next we have is direct expenses direct expenses is how much we have direct expenses is 15 we'll write here 15 this is 25 next we have as fixed expenses now i told you fixed expenses you are not supposed to write so here all these are there now okay here i'll write fixed expenses now fixed expenses is 10 rupees so all these things are given but but we know that we know that to calculate or to know that make or buy decision which one we are supposed to take we will write to manufacture manufacture component x the working note is now this is the working note we will do like this material is 50 labor is 25 then we have direct expenses is 15 so we will add 50 then we have here 60, 75, 75, 80, 90. So we have 90 rupees. That means if I manufacture component X, it will cost me how much? 90 rupees. So this is what to manufacture component X is 90 rupees. But what is the question which they say is what? The question is the product capacity. Now understand here. Advise the management whether they will make the product or buy because they have said the same is available in the market for 120 rupees now understand to manufacture it is 120 if i want to buy component component x if i need to buy component x how much it is available in the market at 120 rupees in the market in the market is how much 120 so how much will i save here that means here you will write the answer for the a question that is we suggest to make the product to make the product to make the product because you should give this reasons here because 120 minus 90 right 120 minus 90 120 is how much if i go and buy from the market 90 is if i manufacture it is how much is equal to 30 rupees will be saved will be saved if we make the product if we make the product so this is how you are supposed to write see it's more of theoretical understand the thing only the thing is what you are supposed to do is subtract the fixed cost this is what you're making the thing and how much is the if i buy component x from the market it is how much 120 rupees so 120 minus 90 is how much 30 that means for one unit for one unit i'm saving how much 30 rupees I'm saving so probably in the question if the question would have said that see here only the production capacity of the factory is 10,000 units so that means here understand 30 rupees I have saved into 10,000 rupees you go with that now 30 into 10,000 this is if you go with how much you can actually save so we decide to make the product and not buy the product so here the next question is that what will be your decision if the supplier offer for 80 rupees see if i make the product is how much 100 no it is 100 minus 10 so it is how much 90 rupees 
now they are actually giving me for how much 80 rupees now what it is again 10 rupees you will save if you buy the product so i'll give you the working note here so 90 is for manufacturing isn't it now for the b working what exactly it is now for b what is the uh, given thing again you write given it's available in the market for how much market is equal to 80 rupees now we know that component x you go with x component available available at 80 rupees since we know that if we manufacture component x since we know that manufacturing of component x is 90 rupees therefore therefore 90 minus 80 is equal to 10 rupees so what is that 10 rupees you will save if you buy the product buy product x from market so for the question b what is that i'll do buy product x from the market because you will save 10 rupees per unit and uh, total unit is how much total units are 10,000 units units is what you will actually get so we got how much 10,000 units is what it is so 10 rupees into 10,000 1 lakh rupees so how much we'll save we'll save 1 lakh rupees if we buy the product now you got how exactly we have calculated but I'll tell you if you write like this you will not get 10 on 10 marks I'll tell you how to write so that you will get 10 marks now what exactly you are supposed to do first thing you will write here question number a and what exactly they have asked is they have asked whether you will suggest to make the product or buy the product so you will write here the question number a and then you will go with suggestions suggestions for component x suggestions for component x whether to make the product or to buy the product suggestions for component x then you will go with the calculation part so let's check what exactly the question is all about now here we have calculated here we have calculated here material labor direct expenses so you will write down material labor direct expenses here now we will go with this material then labor direct expenses so how much exactly it is material labor direct expenses is 50 25 and 15 so you'll write here 15 25 and 15 so you will calculate this now you got to know what exactly it is 90 rupees then you will write a note here while while calculating the total cost incurred total cost incurred we will we will not add will not add fixed expenses so therefore to make the product you will write to make the product see here you will only go with more of suggesting the person whether you will make or buy therefore to make the product it cost it cost 90 rupees per unit it will cost how much 90 rupees per unit and we know that we know that to buy from the market from the market market it cost 
120 rupees per unit. It costs how much? 120 rupees per unit. So we got to know this. So here you will write. I will just write it here. After all these things, you will go with 120 minus 90 is 30. Now 30 rupees is saved. If we if we make here you'll write make the product make the product we can save how much 30 rupees if we make the product we can save we can save we can save 30 rupees per unit hence we will make the product. If you write this completely, you will get six marks for only question number A. How much marks? Six marks because you will draw all the working notes and then you will suggest the management to make or to buy. Hence, what is the answer here? Make the product. To make the product. Next, if we go with B, exactly how you are supposed to do this. Now for B, again here you write B. Now what is that they have said is if the market is giving for 80 rupees. So you will write here. We know that already we have calculated that isn't it. So 90 rupees is what it is. Again you are supposed to calculate even in the section B also that is here. Material is how much 50. Then we had a labor. Labor is how much 25. Then we had uh, one more thing that is direct expenses. Now direct is there that is uh, 15. So total we will go with 90 rupees. We know that to make the product is 90 rupees. The market is if we buy component X, component X from the market, component X from the market market it is 80 rupees 80 rupees so what exactly it is 90 minus 80 is 10 rupees per unit can be saved can be saved see here also you are supposed to write that that is what the very very important topic is that is you will make the reason is 30 rupees you will save per unit per unit total how much it is so 30 into 10,000 units how much 10,000 units so it is how much 30 into 10,000 is say 3 lakh 3 lakh rupees you are saving that's why you will make the product the same way here also 10 now 10 into 10,000 10 into 10,000 is equal to your 1 lakh rupees. 10 into 10,000 is how much? 1 lakh rupees. You will save. Hence, you will buy the product. Hence, you will buy the product. So, this is how you will write and you will get 4 marks here. Total it is how much? 10 on 10. You will get if you write properly legibly you should make them understand that you know the problem you know what exactly the solution is and even they will give you 10 on 10. So this is how we are supposed to solve the make or buy decision. I know that you people have followed this if not please do call me I am always there to help you thank you so much I will see you when I see you.